with this topic altogether, signed numbers, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, with order of operations. So I've got about eight to ten problems that I'd like to share with you now. And I'd like to ask you again to continue to use a vertical process as you do these problems and do one step at a time, following order of operations and what you know about sign numbers. So order of operations says I should do what's in the parentheses first here. And when I take 7 and subtract 9, I get a negative 2. I'm hoping you can do that in your head, but if you need to write this swipe, swipe, that would be fine. 7 plus a negative 9 is a negative 2. Because that's a sign number, keep that in parentheses because in front of that I have 4 times whatever that is. And bring everything down so can you see that I'm trying to just drop everything down as you see it. Order of operations says after you've done the parentheses you do the exponents. There are none. Next I will multiply. So I have 4 times a negative 2 which gives me a negative 8. I can put it in parentheses if I want, or I can just bring this sign down and see that working from left to right, I'm going to have a negative 8 plus that negative 8, and then I'll add that 5. So sometimes an author will put this in parentheses. I'm not going to bother. I'm now going to work left to right, and I'm going to add these two numbers that have like signs. So I add their absolute values getting 16. I put that common sign on them. And then now I'm going to add those two numbers that have unlike signs. So I'm going to subtract their absolute values and get 11 and put the sign um, from the 16 because it has more pull or it has the greater absolute value. Let's do another one. Order of operations says to do what's in the parentheses first. So I'm going to take 2 and add a negative 5. They have unlike signs, so their difference, their absolute values, difference in their absolute values is 3, and that one has more pull. So in this grouping symbol, 2 plus a negative 5 is equal to a negative 3. This reads a negative 3 times what's in that parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses around it so I can see that that's a multiplication problem. And now I have a negative times a negative is a positive. And I'm done. Let's do another. Within that grouping symbol, I need to use order of operations, which says to multiply before you subtract. So I'm going to take 2 times 3 and get 6 and then subtract the 9. Again, please notice I'm not taking any shortcuts, one thing at a time. When I take 6 and subtract 9, I hope you see that you get a negative 3, but if you need to do this, go ahead. You should not be distributing that yet. It is much easier to do what's in the parentheses first, and 6 plus a negative 9 is a negative 3. I put parentheses around that because I want to subtract whatever's in that parenthesis, and it's a little bit easier to look at. Subtracting a negative number means I add the opposite, and these have like signs, so I add their absolute value, and I give them the common sign of both of those numbers, which is positive. Fourteen minus two times a negative six plus seven. This is a little bit unusual. Multiplication comes before addition and subtraction. If you have any interest, and making this minus 2 a negative 2. Add the opposite. So that you can take a negative 2 times a negative 6 and get a positive 12 there. So you'll have 14 plus 12 plus 7. That's one approach to this problem. I'm going to show you another one in a minute. Then I would just work from left to right. They all happen to be positive numbers, so I can add them all at once. 14 and 12 is 26, plus 7 is 33. Let's try this problem in a different way. I'm going to erase the problem and do it again. I'm not going to change the subtraction problem to an addition problem or swipe, swipe that. I'm going to think of this as 14 minus whatever 2, forget this, 2 times a negative 6 is. Well, positive 2 times a negative 6 is a negative 12. So I'm going to subtract 
a negative 12 here. And now I will go ahead and say, well, whenever you subtract, you add the opposite. And I'm back to where I was just a minute ago. And I'll get that answer of 33. Finally, let's just do a couple more problems. We'll take a pause. And then we'll um, do a few more after that. Many people confuse this problem with this problem. And it's all about the parentheses. All about the parentheses. This problem right here says take what's in the parentheses, which is a negative 2, and square it. In other words, multiply it times itself two times. And a negative times a negative is a positive. This problem says to give me the opposite of 2 squared. 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. I want the opposite of that 4. So I want a negative 4 for that problem, not a positive 4. All the difference in the world when you have parentheses versus not.